What's happening YouTube? Kenny back with another how-to video and today we're doing a full quick release install on the steering wheel for our 350Z. You can see our bad boy's not too bad, but definitely around where people put their hands. You can see pretty bad right there and definitely at the top, it's all ripping off right here. So we're going to be replacing it with the full quick release system. If y'all new to the channel or been watching other quick release installs, and no disrespect to anybody else's channel, but on my channel, you ain't going to get none of that, oh I need two hands, oh let me put the camera down real quick. Oh, I did this off camera, but what you just need to do this is a how-to video I'm not gonna talk about how to do it I'm gonna show y'all how to do it every single step every single detail every single bolt So y'all have a complete guide on how to do this on your own vehicle But of course if y'all have any questions drop them down in the comments I'm pretty good about answering comments right away If you need further help and want to show me what's wrong You can send me a video on Instagram at 350z candy and I'll be sure to help y'all there as soon as I can With all that jibber jabber out the way Let's get straight into the video and show y'all exactly exactly what we're going to be installing today. This is everything we're going to be installing today. Let's break it down. I decided to go with an off-brand hub for this build. Reason why? Because they all do the exact same thing. I'm not the type of dude that's going to pay extra money just to have a logo. This is the hardware we're going to need to make sure we don't got any airbag lights that turn on. This kit also came with some flat nuts that we're going to use in this video. Next, we have our cruise control mounting plate, relocation plate, whatever you want to call it. This is by DND. We have our NRG. This is the 2.5 Ford quick release system. As you can see, it's the black on black version with our hardware. We also got an NRG steering wheel. This is the D-shaped suede. And I also got a Nissan Z horn button. Now, when I say this is going to be a complete guide, I mean it. We're going to leave nothing out. I'm going to show you exactly how to relocate your cruise control, and I'm going to show you exactly how to have a standalone horn button. You can see this NRG comes with a surface mounting plate for the horn. I don't know what it's really called, but we're going to make it so it has a standalone button so it doesn't need this plate. And hopefully, that's where these flush bolts are going to come into play. Everything you see here, I got off eBay, except the DND one. This one actually sells out really fast, so I had to wait on the website for it to restock. As far as specialty tools, you're going to need a circle star it, whatever it's called and you're gonna need the t30 this is for the security bolt on the airbag you just need the t30 all right let's get started on the install now of course the first thing we gotta do is safely disconnect our ground cable now i'm disconnecting it from this bolt just because it's easier for me to put back. Now we remove the ground cable so the battery is no longer giving power to the car. It's also good practice to wrap it in a cloth and make sure you tuck it to the side of the battery where it cannot touch anything. Now we can get started. Now the first step into removing your stock steering wheel is to remove the airbag. Now the airbag is being held in by two security bolts on either side of the steering wheel. There's one right there, and the other is just across right there. Now these tabs can be removed by just getting your nail underneath it and pulling right off and you see that uncovers our security bolt which is a t30 we can go ahead and use our t30 bit on our ratchet to remove the security bolt there you go that's one same thing with the other side take off the tab and remove the security bolt on the right side make sure you guys keep pressure on the head of the ratchet you do not want to strip these bolts it will not be a fun time if you do there you go. Now your airbag should come straight out. Now you see our airbag has two sensors on it. Go ahead and grab a little flathead pick. And we're going to go ahead and pry up on this black tab. Just like that. Until it releases. Same thing with the orange one. I don't know how well you guys can see. There's already a kind of an indentation right there. That's where you want to shove the flathead in. And just lift the black part all the way up. And then just pull it out. And then your airbag is fully released. We can set that aside. Next thing we're going to do is remove this grounding cable right here. All we do is going to grab our flathead and just push down. Just like so. We're also going to remove this wiring harness around this hook. So it's free. Same thing with our airbag wires. Just making sure they're all free. Now we're going to remove the 19 millimeter bolt that's holding the steering wheel to the steering shaft. We're going to use our 19 socket to an extension on our impact. There you go. Now we're going to put it back on just a couple threads so this steering wheel doesn't smack us on the face when we're trying to remove it. Now grab some good grip on it and... Uh, there you go. There you go. Now we can remove that nut fully and the steering wheel should slide right off. Make sure none of the wires are going to get caught. Now the only thing holding the steering wheel to where it was is our cruise control wire which is attached to this harness. Go ahead and get a pick, push up on the harness and it comes right out. Now your steering wheel is free. 
we have to remove the cruise controls on the other side it's just being held in with the phillips bolt in the back of the control using that phillips head screwdriver we can go ahead and remove that screw there you go now our cruise control should just come right out oh fuck what the fuck why did they put a hidden screw behind this motherfucker why would they do such a thing bruh okay so there's another hidden screw what happens if I fucking take that off I can't even get to that screw bro I can't even get to that screw right there why would they put it in this fucking tab right here so if you get a long screwdriver and kind of pry on it like this try to get at an edge without stripping the bolt you see how I'm just pushing down on that tab as hard as I can just so I can middle that fucking screw and then that should have yep perfectly knocked off the back of it which would have gave us better access to take off that wire but more importantly gives us access to the back of the screw fuck it we already broke one of them slide the wire from right there now all we gotta worry about is getting this harness over and through on the other side of this metal and a harness should just come out like that fuck my bad y'all my tutorials are usually not like that look they gave us access to one bolt but you can see the second one right there we would have had to remove these two bolts to access that one fillip to take off the back of the plastic just remove that one screw right there i don't know why the fuck nissan designed it like that not that little gorilla goo can't fix my bad y'all that's not how i like to do my how-to videos all right, the next step is to put resistors on our airbag sensor. We have two resistors that came with our hub kit. All we're going to do is grab the two prongs. You can see the two holes right there. And we're going to just shove in both our prongs into the two holes, just like so. Same thing with the orange one. One prong and the second prong, just like that. Now we're going to install our hub. First thing we're going to do is shove our resistors through the hole in the hub that's meant for feeding wires through just like so now we're gonna get one grounding ring from our quick release hardware kit there's two of them we're just gonna use one and do the same thing slide them through our resistors just like that now we're gonna get our dnd cruise control switch relocation and we're gonna do the same thing put our resistors through and sandwich the grounding plate onto the hub now with all that being held together we're gonna grab our harness i'm using the stock one because i do have cruise control wirings running through it you can just use the new one you got in your kit but you're gonna get the wire and shove it through the hole in the hub then you're just gonna want to connect it back into its housing just like that and now we can put our hub on the shaft now keep in mind there is a top of the shaft you can see that little indentation line right there also our hub also has the top of the hub you can see that dot right there also this steering moves so to lock that in place your hub has an indentation where this nipple is supposed to lay and hold everything so it doesn't move now it might take you a few times but try to line up the top of the shaft with the top of your hub we're going to try to line it up as best as we can now with your right hand you're going to want to hold the hub and like we said we're trying to aim the line of the shaft with this dot right here but with your left hand you're going to want to grab the harness like this. And so when you finally get the hub lined up with the circle and the teeth are just starting to slide in, go ahead and rotate that harness until it locks into place with the hub and you can slide the hub all the way down. Now let's take a look, see how we did. You see our mark and you see our dot is just a little bit off. This shaft has a lot of teeth. So you do have to be a little bit accurate. We can try again. We're just going to pull it out, rotate a little bit find the teeth you see the back of the steering is now locked in with the hub and we can slide it all the way down let's check again you can see our mark lines up a lot better with the dot that looks good to me now we can reinstall our steering shaft bolt our 19 mil get our impact and make sure it's secured down perfect not going nowhere make sure we get our ground wire out now we can go ahead and tuck in our airbag wiring into the hub not pretty but that's how it's gonna go now we're gonna bring our grounding plate up and over as well as our cruise control plate and we're gonna keep spinning them until we see all the holes just like so and we're gonna go ahead and get the hardware that came with our quick release system we're just gonna put two screws just to hold it in place while we work on our horn wire now we're gonna use the horn wire and harness that came with the hub kit unfortunately the back of the ngr plate does not fit our stock horn wire because the horn wire is too small so we're gonna have to retrofit this connector and switch it out for this connector to do that we're just gonna use a butt connector now i know that seems pretty bunk but trust me this is a lot better than trying to repin your cruise control into the new harness so all we're gonna do 
is get the stock one and we're gonna cut it there you go then we're gonna splice it with our new wire we're gonna cut it same thing splice it now we're gonna twist the wires give it a little fold insert our butt connector and crimping down on one side always give it a tug make sure it's not going nowhere good same thing with the stock wire. By the way, I'm using the smallest one. Red is for the smaller wires. And this one does have shrink wrap at the ends of them. Now we're gonna insert our stock wire into our butt connector. And we're gonna go ahead and carefully crimp that down. Just like that. Give it a little tug, make sure our metal to metal contact is good. Now with the shrink, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of flame in right here. We just want it to shrink nice onto the wire. And there you go, that looks really nice. With our quick release, we're going to go ahead and press down on the safety pin and we're going to pull the quick release forward, which releases the back end of the quick release. And we're going to take this to the car. Now with our NRG, we can go ahead and take the yellow wire and plug it into the horn wire that we just made. Just like that. Go ahead and tuck those wires back in. Also your cruise control, those wires can also be tucked in. Make sure they're all just fed through that little slit right there. That's to make sure the wires aren't getting pinched. And now the final last wire we need to connect is going to be our ground. And that's our black wire coming from the NGR plate. And that's going to go onto our grounding plate that we just made. That just slides on like that. Now with that, we can go ahead and remove our hardware that we were using just to hold this. And now we can push everything back into place. Make sure you can see all the screw holes. We're going to go ahead and put the first bolt into the hub using the Allen key provided by NRG. Now we can start fitting in all our bolts and start tightening them down one by one using a star pattern. We're going to go from one, two, three, four, five, and six. Not putting too much pressure on them. You do not want to strip these little aluminum bolts. And that's perfect just like that. So far so good. Now to start the assembly of the steering wheel. Go ahead and use the Allen key provided by NRG. And we're going to take off each of the six screws holding in the horn. If you flip it over, you can see we have these rubber stud covering ring thing. They have nuts on the screws, so we can go ahead and just spin each of those off. So they can just fall right out. There you go. We can go ahead and save that hardware. Go ahead and take this suede patch off. This is what NGR gives you. This is just to test some cleaning products, anything like that. This very small Allen key that NGR gives you with the quick release, that's to take off this stud right here and that releases the safety pin. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it because I've been playing around with this quick release thing and it's really, really irritating. And talking to some other people that have NGR quick releases, they also feel the same way. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this little guy all the way out. You can see just a little stud looks like that. Super, super small. Now we're going to put the quick release back onto the hub. Oh, and we can see that the safety pin just came out. Now we can take this all the way out. You can see now that the safety pin is gone. This is what came out. Now with the quick release, we're going to go ahead and get this retainer clip. This is only if you want the horn to be a standalone horn. If you don't want a standalone horn and you're fine using this mounting plate, you can skip this step. But all you're going to want to do is squeeze in. It's aluminum. It's not as tough as it looks. And we're going to slide it inside our quick release housing. Kind of got to wrestle it in, but as soon as you got it, it just slides right down. Make sure you slide it all the way down into the quick release system. That's perfect just like that. So when you get your horn, you're going to see an outer ring right here. Now this is a C spring ring right here, and you just want to get a little pick. Go ahead and take it out of there just like that. Now what we're going to want to do is you can see that there's four teeth. That's where we're going to want to put this spring on the inside of these four Teeth. Now you kind of want to line the spring up so it doesn't mess with your wiring But we're just going to make sure the spring is up and over each of the teeth Just like so you heard it click into place Now you should be looking at something like this This spring is to help the teeth push out And it's going to help us with the standalone horn that we're trying to do Next, instead of using the hardware NRG gave to us We're going to use the hardware that came with the hub from eBay, the off brand Because these screws, or bolts are You will see that they're going to be the flush bolts And that's going to look real nice Because I don't know if you can tell on our steering wheel But they do have an indentation for flush bolts So now all we're going to do is grab our quick release 
set our steering wheel on top and put our first pilot bolt just to help us center this down then we're going to get the second pilot bolt right on the bottom just like so now we're going to hand tie in all six screws in just like so oh my god it's looking so nice i'm getting excited now <laughs> i believe we're going to go black to black wire and yellow to yellow wire and we can go ahead and push those down into place and grab the horn and now we're just going to push it down just like so now we can go ahead and tighten down all six bolts in a star pattern just like the hub one two three four five six sheesh that looks so nice i don't know if the ngr hub comes with these flush bolts if they don't bro off ran ebay for the win beautiful now we can take this laminate off Jeez. And now we can put our little sticker on. Our sticker actually also has a laminate on top. I don't know if you can see the bubbles around the Z. But I'm going to keep that laminate. I'm just going to put the sticker on. All right, next we're going to work on securing the cruise control switch. Y'all looking at the back. I don't know how well you can see that. Now, if you got the DND kit, it's going to come with two screws, two spacers, two washers, and two rubber washers. There is an order. The rubber washers are to protect the DND plate. So you put the rubber washers first, put a spacer, and you want to get the metal washer, put it right on top. And then I'm going to use the stock screw just because it is a little bit longer. And since they're going into the exact same thread pattern, they'll definitely go in a little easier. Same thing with the bottom one. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten them down with the Phillips screwdriver. Using a one fourth ratchet was so helpful in this situation. We can now reattach our ground cable and bolt it back up. All right, let's test the horn out. Shoo! Looking dumb smexy, man. I absolutely love it. I love the steering wheel. I love the thumb placement. You can see the indentation now really good. Indentation right here. A lot of you might not think so, but this little edge right here actually helps a lot when turning with one hand. Cruise control looking good. DND. We got the bolts up in the back. Beautiful horn. Quick release works great. You can see where that safety pin used to be right there. Y'all see the clearance between the cruise control and the quick release? Barely any clearance. Just perfect comes off super easy goes back on very nicely moment of truth perfect look at the flush bolts perfect anyways y'all thank y'all so much for watching i hope this was hella detailed for y'all i hope it was easy to follow of course you got any questions drop them down in the comments below stay tuned because we got weekly videos coming every single friday on this channel we do how-to videos as well as car vlogs and next week we were finally fixing the passenger handle this shit has been broken for a cool fucking minutes and we gotta find out if it needs to be replaced or we can fix it all that in the next video i hope to see y'all there thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video. Bye.